We've spent the last few days battling both jet lag and high altitude in our best attempts to enjoy the stunning beauty of the Rocky Mountain National Park. Whilst with hindsight, we should have perhaps given a bit more time to this gorgeous park, our three-week trip making the most of our precious annual leave has been organised down to a T. So, as planned, we undertook the long journey north, crossing over the border into Wyoming, as our next destination is Grand Teton National Park. Whilst here, we hope to do some hiking, visit some of the well-known spots within the park, and we'll be keeping our fingers crossed that we get lucky and spot some of the 61 species of mammals who live beneath the towering peaks of the Teton Range. Good morning and welcome to a very chilly but very beautiful Grand Teton National Park. starting today's hike here at String Lake which is absolutely stunning although I have heard that the later on in the day that it gets and the warmer it gets the more of a bit of a fast this becomes with lots and lots of people out on the water so we feel quite blessed that we're here this early on in the day to be able to see it as beautiful as what it is right now. This is of course bear country so we have made sure that we've brought some bear spray. We're hoping that we won't have to use it but there's both black bears and grizzly bears and if we were to come across one which is seeming a little bit aggressive we're going to have to use this in order to defend ourselves but we're hoping that if we do come across any that they'll be from a safe distance and that they also won't be overly aggressive. Okay, off we go on the hike. is a bull moose. As with most things in the national parks, whenever you see a cluster of people gathered together, usually it's because they've spotted some form of wildlife that's a big thing, such as this moose behind me. It was sat down for a little bit, we decided to stop, reapply some sunscreen, and then it got up and kind of cool, it's doing its own thing. Canyon we'd actually walked up today at the point where the trail splits into two 
And at this point, really, we either needed to have been walking much faster, not faffing around where the moose was and the deer was and all of the other animals were that we've seen today, to be able to get up and over into Paintbrush Canyon, or alternatively be hiking with backpackers permits in order to be able to camp on the mountains overnight both of which we don't have so we are going as far as this end point here with the waterfall and we are gonna head back on ourselves back down to where the hike began <laughs> to Inspiration Point. We're going to stop here and have our lunch. After a late lunch at Inspiration Point, we officially crashed and walking back to where we parked the car was a real struggle. We took a little drive to see if we could catch any more wildlife, but it just wasn't meant to be. Good morning and welcome to day two here in the Grand Tetons National Park. After our very, very epic hike yesterday, I think it was around about 13 or 14 miles, we are deciding to do something that's a little bit nicer. We're coming here to Taggart Lake. I think it's going to be approximately five miles round trip. And I'm really, really hoping that we get to see some more wildlife because all of that wildlife yesterday was amazing. to Taggart Lake with not too much effort to get out here and it's absolutely beautiful but there's also a park ranger here who has said that the next lake on in the trail to Bradley Lake there's been a sighting of a black bear so I think whilst we're gonna have a go on that trail we're gonna keep our bear spray to hand just in case it's a little bit on the aggressive side but it would be really cool if we can see a bear so fingers crossed <laughs> Bradley Lake which is obviously beautiful as you can see around me but unfortunately there were no sightings of a bear unfortunately we were trailing behind someone who was probably just as fast paced as what we were with hiking but she was hiking on her own and all the way up the pass and all the way back down to this lake all we could hear her doing was just yelling really loudly hey bear which I think would have just made any bear go off in the opposite direction so I think today it just wasn't meant to be it's still been absolutely stunning out here and I'm really loving it. We are only a few days into our three week trip and there's still so much to come. Be sure to subscribe so that you can explore with us the national parks of Yellowstone with its abundance of wildlife, geothermal activity and beautiful swim spots, Capitol Reef and discover that Utah's least visited national park is an almost deserted gem. Arches where we may have got lost in what I can only describe as the world's most spectacular natural maze. A lazy but beautiful afternoon drive around Canyonlands and the Grand Canyon as you've probably never pictured it. We'll also stop off at a few other places that our America the Beautiful National Park Pass gives us entry to, as well as some places that weren't included in the pass. Some on reflection weren't worth the extra cost, whilst others absolutely were. I look forward to sharing my adventures with you. <laughs>